Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today. I have no theme in mind. I'm just going to see what messages come through for you. So let's see. Aries, what's going on for Aries? What are we talking about today? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> wow, the, the five of wands just hits me in the face. Okay. Hmm, okay. There could be some drama going on, some fighting. Some of you, there could be something about being unsure about your circle of friends or the people that you're surrounded with or people that you spend time with. This it could even be family members. You're unsure about this group of people. Alright, what else do we have? The star. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Okay, the message I'm getting, this is a specific message for someone. There could be something where you're exposing something about someone else, or you're exposing the truth about something. There could be people who are angry at you for exposing the truth about something, or for speaking the truth about something. Hanged man. Okay, so, 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 wow, so, so far, Jesus Christ, oh, I'm not going to start the reading again, okay, so far, we have Aquarius and we have Pisces energy, Jesus Christ, And the Magician, wow, three major arcana coming out after the Five of Wands. You're doing something that you were divinely led to do. You're exposing something, or you're sharing the truth about something, or you're sharing a perspective about, about something, or you're sharing something to the collective, to the world, to a group of people even, um, to your family members, and there could be conflict with you because of this. People could be angry at you for saying the truth about something, or I'm hearing whistleblower, for being the whistleblower, for exposing something, exposing someone. Also, this could be, um, some of you might be like tarot readers or channelers, or you speak on um, channelings, like you speak, you speak on it could be anything. <laughs> but you speak uh, like in a spiritual way. Okay? And you channel information. That's not for all of you, obviously, but I am getting that some of you could do some form of divination for the public. There could be people that are mad that you're exposing them. Some of you, people are mad because you see through them. Because you can see their true intent, their true motives, or you can see that someone's hiding something or something like that, okay. Or that you know the truth about them. There could be people who will try to keep up a facade, or a person that tries to keep up a, a, a facade, and you see them for what they are, and you don't, um, you don't, like, fall to them like everyone else does, interesting, or you don't, like, fall for them, like, you don't fall for it like everyone else does, or you don't act accordingly, or something like that, okay. You're being led to expose this, though. You could be shaking up quite a bit of foundations, or you're shaking up a certain foundation. Yeah. With the truth, though. Okay. Someone is, like, upset that they can't manipulate you into seeing them the way they want you to see them. It's false, though. 
Like, someone's not trying to prove to you their true intent. It's like someone's trying to prove to you that their intent is true when it, in fact, is not. Ulterior motives. Okay. What else about this for Aries? Three of Pentacles. Okay. What the heck? Okay, subconsciously, you could have people that are working against you just because, like, these people could be more in their shadow. They could be more attuned to darkness, manipulative energies, or whether this is their conscious awareness or not that they are connected to these lower vibrational things. They could be, like, this is like someone being attacked for being, um, like, of light or of being, like, someone who brings truth or someone who is a healer or something like this. These are people who are working against an actual healer or someone who, someone who is working like w along with the divine, like they're on the divine's word. That's what I'm hearing. They're on the divine's time. There's even gossiping going on in like drama. There's drama going on. <laughs> there's people talking about this or there's people who are coming together to get you to stop exposing them or exposing the truth or it's like one person is like trying to say say things to manipulate these other people into like teaming up with them to like this is dramatic but take you down but like not take you down like not like like no one's gonna attack you. That's not what I'm getting. Someone might attack you spiritually. That's not going to be for all of you, obviously, but um, if you are feeling that, you know, work accordingly. But some of you, most of you, honestly, this is just like people who are gathering together to gossip. And they're trying to get other people on their side. There's also, I'm also getting like... Someone's gossiping just to see if they're on your side or their side or if they've heard what you think. Like, someone's, like, trying to, like, get people on their side and trying to check to see if they heard what you exposed or if they believe what you exposed or if you are talking about them. There could be someone who sees you as someone who, like, sees through them. And they're worried that you're going to talk about them to other people, so they're trying to talk about you to other people first to influence their opinion of you before you get to them. But I'm not sensing that you're trying to manipulate anyone into believing something or trying to, like... Like, I'm not getting that you're trying to mess with someone's reputation or something, but someone's convinced that you're trying to mess with their reputation, so they're trying to get to them first. Like, that type of energy, okay. Yeah, lots of talk. Lots of talk going on here. Coming from the ego, this person is actually acting out of fear. That's what I'm getting. This person's acting out of fear. This person's acting out of ego. There even could be something about you know a certain secret and someone's like scared you're going to tell their secret or something like that, okay? So they're trying to like make you look like not accountable or not 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 trustworthy or something like that. And if this reading isn't resonating, like, if this is just, like, where the hell is this coming out of? Like, this is coming out of left field. You have no clue what the hell this is about, and this might not be a reading. <laughs> okay, we have King of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting, like, you have a very strong leadership energy. If you're, if you're a leader, you... You know, you don't follow the crowd, you follow your own way. There could be someone who's mad that they could not lead you or force you in a certain direction or force you into a certain opinion or... Show me more for Aries, please. 
Eight of Cups. Yeah, either you're... Okay, you might have information that's going to make people not want to be around a certain person or... Like, you're sharing this perspective and it's making people move away from something toxic or something karmic or... This could be something that you do actively, like you help people walk away from karmic situations or move out of karmic situations or realize that situations are karmic or you shed light on karmics. That's what I'm getting. Or there's a specific karmic in your life that you have information on or you see through them or... Like, I'm not going to continue repeating myself. That's what I said for the whole first part of the reading. But, like, you help people move out of karma or you're going to be making people move out of a karmic relationship with this person. So what is what is it with this person, then? What is it with this person? What, like, what's... What is someone scared is going to get exposed? Or what is someone concerned that you're exposing? Or... Okay, for some of you, it's something about how they earn their money. Okay. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles just wanted to come out. Some of you, that is the case. Um, but show, show me more about what is so concerned with justice. Someone scared of karma or someone scared of people realizing something or someone's someone's concerned about getting their about getting about you getting justice or you getting revenge I'm not getting that's the case it's like someone's trying to take you down because they assume that you're trying to get revenge on them but in reality you're just focused on your own life and where you're moving to what you're doing next Why is this person so concerned with the truth coming out or something getting exposed or with Aries knowing something? Why is this person so concerned? Seven of Wands. They're defensive. You gotta fall on the floor. Nine of Cups. Okay, there's something about how someone wants something to continue going the way it's going, or someone wants someone wants the control that they've had, and they want to keep the control that they've had, and they don't want to change their influence over this group of people, over this collective, over over whatever it is like this is going to be different for some of you um and it's like someone's been trying to like fight this truth off or fight this um from getting exposed or someone someone uh, i'm getting okay this is interesting specific message someone like they've taken down other people in the past that have tried to expose them this is like some freaking government shit or something <laughs> like like they've taken down people in the past that have tried to expose them and this person, someone's frustrated that you're, you haven't been taken down or that they can't manipulate you or they can't get you to continue like with their false storyline. That's what I'm hearing. Or to continue spreading their lies or continue believing their lies or something like that. Okay. All right. So what's happening? What's the, what should Aries be aware of or what's the advice or what's, what's the final message here for Aries? about this situation. Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, you're almost to the end of something, like you're, you're pushing through, like you're you're, you could be reviewing um, what you just gone through, but you're very much at the very end of this, this like stressful like wand energy, this combative war energy. Like even if this involves spiritual attacks or like you're pushing through, 
and you're coming out the other side 10 times stronger. That's what I'm getting. Um, there could be something with Leo energy. Uh, yeah, you're pushing through, you're coming out 10 times stronger. There could be something important about the number, number eight or August or Leo season. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we started the reading with wand energy and here like we've come to like the end of the journey with the wands, like the nine of wands, getting ready to drop the burden of the situation, really taking lessons from the situation though. So whatever the situation is, um, there are going to be sp specific lessons that you learn from it. And also with you coming out stronger on the other side, it's like you were being trained spiritually for something. Um, yeah, to prepare for something. Keep rejecting what doesn't align with you, what doesn't feel right to you, or what you don't like. That's what I want to say. Keep rejecting what you don't like. <laughs> okay. Thank you so very much, Aries. I wish you the best of luck as you move through the situation. So much love to you as you move through it. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, the link to my website will be in the description, and any other info you need will be in the description. Thank you again, and bye!